Hi, this is a short video on how to set up and play the digital version of the scarcity game from the Secreus research project. So the first thing you do is go to one of these two URLs here, secreus.github.io or tinyurl.com slash scarcity dash game. And from one of those places, you will be able to get this file called scarcity.pc.io. This is the install of your version of the game. Then you're going to head over to playingcards.io and I'll show you how to set up the game. So this is playingcards.io. You're going to scroll down, scroll down until you see the button that says custom room. Click on the room that says custom room and start blank room. It's going to give you a little code. If you want to play with other people, that's how you do that. However, this version of the game is set up really more as a preview version, um, a single player version, or a version for you to play at the same time as somebody else, but not using the same cards as somebody else. So they might have to set up their own version if you want to play it competitively. Anyway, you probably wouldn't need the share code. So you just click enter here. And then you go up to um, this button here that says edit table. You click on edit table and you click room options. Then what you're going to do is import export room. You're going to import from file. You get your scarcity.pcio file and you click import. And there in front of you, you have the game. So now to play, you exit edit mode by clicking the same little suitcase icon that you clicked before. If you like, you can go full screen. Okay, so this is the board game, very much as it looks uh, if you were playing it around a table with up to four players. There are one or two little rules tweaks in the single player digital version, simply because there is not enough room here to, uh, to, to lay out the same number of cards. Okay, so I'll just do a quick tour of this digital version. The, all the game rules are online at these URLs that you see on the screen. Um, so I'm sure you, uh, you can work out your own way of doing it as a single player game or on multiple screens. Uh, so the first thing we do is recall and shuffle all the cards. This up here is your impact deck. If you hover over the card, you get a, a close up. That's useful because when you flip this card by clicking it, you'll want to be able to read the text. Uh, now, there is um, a digital version of all of these cards. So if you find that you cannot read some of the smaller text, the link here at the bottom, tinyurl.com scarcity game, will take you to this board, which has all of the cards that you can zoom in on and read as much as you like. Okay, so hover to zoom, uh, click to flip and drag to drag. So I'm not going to play the game because you can figure that out for yourself based on using the rules. What I will say here is that there's a tweak in the digital version, which is you only get two options for buying programs instead of the six that you get in the board game. The program cards are meant to be face up. This blue side is the um, is the, the face that you're supposed to be seeing. This is a program in full working condition. So what you'll do in this version is you'll deal yourself two options of program cards. You can see what's coming up next this regular user training program, but you can only buy these two, containerization and load balancer. Um, you can tweak the rules if you like. I would propose that you select one and uh, discard the other one, just throw it down here or something. And then, you know, if I've selected this one, then you can deal yourself two new ones next round. It's up to you how you do that. I'm gonna just draw your attention to the icons in the corner of the card. So this one has a square with little pins coming out of it. That means it goes in the CPU district. So it matches the background of where the card goes. Um, similarly, load balancer here. It's got a little network icon on it. So it goes over here in the network district. When your programs degrade, click them to flip them. So this is the back of the card. This red side uh, is a degraded program. We advise that when you're choosing um, 
which programs to buy that you flip them and have a look at the back and then flip them back. Finally, these little counters here are just to help you keep track of stuck scores. So if you run 23 bitters and 20 and three, and there's the same for your um, dollars over here as well. Okay, uh, I hope that helps. I hope you enjoy the game. Thanks very much.